What's up YouTube, Matthew here once again with another video for you all. And today I'll be telling you all the exact blueprint on how to automate and, and create a successful dropshipping business, a six figure per year dropshipping business. Now, before we go on, be sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, like this video and comment down below whether you like this video or not, or different suggestions or questions that you have for me. Now, if you all follow this exact blueprint, you will win in Shopify dropshipping and you will succeed in it. Now, the number one thing, the, the first thing, not the number one thing, there's a few key key elements to um, being successful in dropshipping and e-commerce. Uh, but the first step is to obviously create a store and test different products. Now, the, the, the thing that's really good about dropshipping is that you can test multiple products with absolutely no cost, um, and it's without buying in bulk, without having any inventory, and it's wonderful. So for example, if you're buying off of AliExpress, you can test a shirt, a bracelet, uh, appliance, uh, electronic, a charger, a phone case, and put like all of those 10 items on a general Shopify store, right? And then you run ads on all 10 of those uh, items, whether on Facebook or run or using Instagram influencers. I personally like to start with Instagram using Instagram influencers and then building my data from there and scaling on Facebook. Now, when you start on Instagram, um, with these different products, you will find a product that is doing more successful than the others. So out of the 10, let's say two does well, um, you get more likes or shares, or you even get a sale with one of them. Then you move on to that specific niche. So if it was a phone case with a pineapple on it, for example, your niche will be into pineapples, you know, little cute fruits, a little cute fruit store. Wow, that's a good idea. I probably should use that. <laughs> But yeah, and so you call it fruity tails. I don't know, but you know, you start with that. If that's winning, you, you feed off of that. You can either create a different store based off of that niche or continue with that general store, but just make it niche specific to that niche. And so you just find different influencers that's been working with you, find similar ones. And when you find a good one, Ask them, hey, do you know any other pages like yours that will be willing to work with me? Do you know any, um, like any influencers, either, e even on YouTube or Twitter, that would like to promote my product? And then from there, you scale. So you find different influencers and you always have your Facebook pixel on your um, Shopify store so that purchases made through Instagram will be recorded on that pixel that you can use when you're running Facebook ads and when you wanna scale. So after you already established like a good core influencers and you're getting like good consistent sales and you are making a profit, then you can go onto Facebook and start scaling. Now, that's the second step, you know, start scaling or third step, because number one, create a store, find a niche and product. Number two, running on Instagram. Number three, running on Facebook. So using that Facebook, data, you can create lookalike audiences. So for example, when someone purchases on your store, Facebook collects that data, they know who that person is, if they have a Facebook account, what they like on Facebook, um, their, their ages, their demographics, where they live. And, and through that data, Facebook creates a custom data through, um, through that and then builds off of that. And what you can do with that custom audience, let's say it's an audience of 500 people, uh, Facebook will find like 2 million more similar to those core 500 and create that lookalike audience so you can target to them. So from there, you target on Facebook, you use lookalike audience and then you experiment with other audience, um, just looking at different interests, creating assets for that and you scale, scale from that. Now with Facebook, the profit is not as high, but your revenue is larger so you can make more because you can scale more and it's easier to be more passive with Facebook ads because you can just run some for a few days and not really, you know, just check on it once a day. And if it's going good, you can leave it. Like, honestly, I haven't checked my ads in like two or three days, but I know my sales are doing well and I know how much I'm spending per day. 
Now, so at their Instagram, at their Facebook, and you're starting to get more stores, I mean, more sales and more revenue. Now you have to, this is a big mistake that I made. You have to stop drop shipping. You can't continue with the two to four weeks shipping time. You can't continue with the, uh, the Asian, um, different products, you know, the quality and, or, or things like that. You can either, now's the time to either buy it in bulk from Asia and bring it to a warehouse that they can ship it out to your customers or you, um, buy yourself a warehouse or you do print on demand or you do something more in house where the shipping time is, is lower and you have more control over your products. That's a big key to, um, uh, when you start growing your Shopify store. And so that's the basic b beginner friendly, uh, you know, launch that I, or the steps that I took to create my store. And I know it will be really beneficial for you all to do that. And so like the number one thing is to test, test products and then you find your niche, niche build off of that number two find instagram influencers with that build your data run facebook ads and scale larger and then move to domestic shipping to better quality products and then you have your e-commerce empire hope you all enjoy this video be sure to subscribe like this video and comment down below all right peace